Okay, Himika and ooh, Yatsuha is on the table. No respect. Okay, Bone Light keeping. He's going to try and go for 5 aura damage pretty early, potentially, with uh, Swing Pierce. Uh, turn 1 Roaring, everyone's favorite. I think you probably try to move up to range 2 here, although you would have to discard your centrifugal attack for that, which is a little sad. Maybe you move up 1 and uh, hope your opponent does likewise. Okay. Oh, that was a costly mistake. Okay, so Bone White's for sure eating a 3 damage hit here. Right? Oh, no he's not. He's good. That's actually a bait. I'm not paying enough attention. Yeah, so if uh, Overmaster goes for Steam Cannon here, he gets punished by pullback. Alright, there it is. Oh wait, no he doesn't. There's no shadow. That's rough. Okay. Man, I'm back and forth on this. Okay, so this is looking like Overmaster's game at this point. But we'll see. This is actually this actually plays into uh Yasuha's collection attack. Because being at lower life is advantageous for that special. A reflection attack, sorry, the uh, copy and attack action special. That's right. All right, so we have stunt for the flash. Not sure what's going on here. Theoretically, he could just move back here and uh, Bolts of Steel to drain two flare from Yatsuha. It's a little early to be range locking, but at the same time, I don't hate that play at all. It'll just give him time to build up Aura. Or sorry, build up Flare, his own Flare, while denying his opponent Flare. Okay, looks like we're going to range 4 instead.
range four and focusing twice. Oh, okay. This is this makes more sense. This is pretty fine. You might even discard. Yeah, definitely discard. Waltz of Steel to move up to range three and then just go to range zero. It's gonna say it's focusing all your aura if it, at range four against Yatsuha seems kind of silly, but. Um. Okay, didn't didn't understand how his card worked. Yeah, Bonewai doesn't have any card that would have punished there. If the Umbrella was open, you'd have to worry about Pierce. That's about it. Of course here... Oh my gosh. Oh no, he's at range 0. He can just focus once and then hit with uh, Swing Flame. Oh, what a disaster. Oh, he can't. He can't. He doesn't have the open umbrella. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, we're good. I'm... Small brain. No. Okay, so he loads up to play around Hammer. Honestly, he probably should have discarded the last two cards he had if you were going to full elite fully play around it, but I guess you know Overmaster doesn't have any attack cards right now anyway, so he discarded his whole hand. You know, he's so he can't be holding the hammer, and he can't have it at the bottom of his deck. There might have been some merit in holding on to the Devil in the Mirror because of the possibility that Overmaster backs up to make a hammer swing on his turn. I guess you wouldn't have it anyway, though, because, yeah, never mind. Ignore me. So yeah, you discard all your cards when you get hit by the hammer. Yeah, backing up by one seems like a decent enough play. Okay, now you've backed up two with Flare, and you can take two more Flare from your opponent. Very good. Strange game we're playing. Never mind. Okay. So now sound the bell's hammer hits, but otherwise. Overmaster might just run his hammer into aura if he doesn't know about the reaction or if he doesn't play around it for whatever reason. Not the worst thing, though.
Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. You can set up your uh, black box next turn. You're getting out of range of most of Yukihi's big threats. Okay, so it's not the the Grand Sky Crash combo, but this is still pretty good because it cancels the uh, centrifuge attack and it uh, strafugal swing, and it also duplicates it and hits uh, Overmaster with it. Uh, no, because he played it as a reaction. Then centrifugal attack is if it's currently your turn. You discard both players' hands. So you could also use like Toby Kage or something to play it as a reaction on your opponent's turn. All right, this is a pretty difficult spot to be in. You honestly, he probably should have. Oh, he doesn't have the reflection one. Hmm. I was gonna say the reflections are really strong right now, but taking this one to life isn't the worst, but. It's pretty grim. Bone White's kind of an awkward place where the Yukihi reaction is better if his umbrella is closed, but his options for attacking are actually better if his umbrella is open. He doesn't have the key reaction, but that's still a bluffing option for him right now. And yeah, Overmaster has already played Centrifugal Attack, but he might reshuffle next turn and try and draw into it to go for another swing. think he has any need to stunt ever again in this game. This is probably just going to be a black box turn. There it is.
Oof. Not able to reshuffle next turn. Can barely take the frustration damage. That's game. Probably. Unless, uh... This might be too much for a bone point to take, too, if he can... No, the most he can back up is... One right now. Well, okay, without... Let's see, let's see. So he's gonna get... One more Vigor. Okay, he's calling it. Yeah, the most you can back up is let's so let's two, oh, let's see. one, two, three. So he could do a three two with his big special. Oh, wait, 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 wait! No, he can't. He's he's got Garuda. He can back up one, two, three, four, five. Which makes it a five three. 